check out this super simple way to bring your Strava data into ArcGIS Pro for some more advanced mapping. So what you can see up here is I have my Strava account and I went for a walk yesterday afternoon along the beach and all I need to do is to click into that particular activity that's been saved and you can see the line where I was walking and then over here on the left hand side with these three little dots for actions if you click on that you can export to GPX. Now once you do that it will save that file and pop it into your downloads folder and then all you have to do is pop on over to ArcGIS Pro and bring that in. So let's have a look at how we do this. So we go under analysis and into tools and what you're going to do under the geoprocessing dialog that pops up, if you just type in GPX here and hit enter and then one of the tools that pops up is GPX to features. Now features are the ones that ArcGIS Pro understands so we have to convert the GPX that's coming out of Strava into this particular format. So let's click on that one and open it up and it's asking us for that input file. So I'm gonna to navigate to where I save that to. So if I just open the browse there and pop this one up, so you can see my GPX file in there. I just do one single click on that and go to OK. And now it's going to output a feature class. Now I always want to just double check where that feature class is being output as well. So I'll open that folder there and just make sure that it's going into a place that makes sense for me, which in this case is the same folder that I took the import file from as well. And I'm going to call this Palm Cove which is where we walked. Now all I need to do here is hit run it now and it's going to take a moment and then we'll see it pop up on the left hand side. It's automatically zoomed in and you can see that I now have my Strava data in ArcGIS Pro. Now one thing that you might notice when you zoom all the way in is that it's actually created a point feature class. So these individual points are representing the GPS locations recorded by my mobile device as we were walking along. But as I'm walking along, it's actually a line feature class that I want rather than individual points. So all I need to do is head back over to tools and I'm going to search for the tool that's going to go from a point to a line and there we go, it already pops up there. So let's click on that particular tool there. My input features is going to be that Palm Cove feature class and it's going to create the output feature class there. If I hit run, give it a moment and what we should see is it'll pop up in the table of contents over on the left hand side which we can see that's come through nicely just now and you'll see I still have my points so I can either tick those off so I don't see them or I could remove that feature class as well and I'm left with my line feature class and then I can do all sorts of things like calculate the speed between individual areas or I, I could look at that in relationship to the area that I was walking or anything that I liked. There's a lot of things that I can do with a line feature class now that I have it in ArcGIS Pro.